strong word. Here we go. So get ready to layer up <laughs> once again. We haven't had a whole lot of cold weather in the past several weeks, but it's going to start to get a whole lot colder around here by Friday and Saturday and then possibly swing upwards again next week. Let's get right into it. We'll take you outside up to the Poconos. Speaking of colder, you can see a lot of snow on the slopes of Jack Frost Big Boulder. Just had some folks out there snowboarding in Carbon County and did have a few snow showers and even some heavier squalls move through that area earlier today. But right now it is quiet. Doesn't look like anything falling from the sky. Storm Scan 3 showing those snow showers that moved across the Poconos now fizzling as they head through the Lehigh Valley. Not much out there. A stray rain or snow shower there in Northampton County. Very, very light. You may need to flick the windshield wipers once or twice if you're in Easton, Saucon Valley, possibly Bethlehem, but most of us not seeing much of anything at all tonight. And temperatures are above freezing, well above freezing, so no problems on the roads. It's 47 in Philly, 41 in Allentown right now, 31 in Mount Pocono, and it's 44 degrees in Wilmington. But temperatures are getting colder. We got to 46 yesterday, 50 degrees outside for today, well above average. Normal highs about 41. But here we go back down the scale 45 degrees for tomorrow, then into the 30s. Now this is not the coldest air we've ever felt in the winter, certainly, but temperatures about five to 10 degrees below average as this blast of cold air moves in. The front comes through tonight into tomorrow, and that's what you'll feel with the winds picking up here. It'll be blustery tonight and blustery tomorrow as well. By the end of the week and the weekend, we're looking at temperatures five to 10 degrees below average, and it may feel even colder than that as it still will be breezy and chilly, but high pressure and control means we've got a lot of sun to look forward to over the next several days. So let's take you through it. We'll start off with tonight. The low down to 30 degrees. It's partly cloudy. It is chilly. Winds are out of the west at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, blustery. Temperatures are in the mid 40s for most of us mid to upper 40s, but it's not going to feel like that. It's going to feel like the 30s outside because the winds are strong all day long. Here's the core of the cold Friday into Saturdays. Temperatures are only in the uh, in the mid 30s, really feeling even colder than that with the breeze. Sunday is a day to watch a few scattered snow and rain showers in the afternoon. Little or no accumulation with these. Not a big deal. So keep those football watching plans intact. No problems really with that snow on Sunday. Could have been a whole lot worse, but we're dodging a bullet on this one. Monday 42 wind with some sun and then take a look at that spike in temperatures. We're back to near 60 by Wednesday with the chance for a little bit of rain and then the bottom falls out again late next week. Uh -huh. So it's kind of a roller coaster yes. start Ooh. to 